Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the important significances of the process of Myasis 2. Myasis 2, it shows the separation of homologous chromosomes during the disjunction. So, uh, initially we have seen in total Myasis, the homologous chromosomes have separated. Now in Myasis 2, the sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes also got separated. Because of this, we will get haploid number of chromosomes in the new daughter cells. The disjunction, it maintains the chromosomes as dyad. Because of the process of dis disjunction, we know the chromosomes will now be maintained as dyad. And hence, in Myasis 2, what happens? The sister chromatids get separated. The separated chromosomes into sister chromatids, as we have already discussed. So, the sister chromatids is going to go into the new daughter cells. This leads to haploidy in the amount of DNA. Because initially, the uh, parental cell, it was diploid. Due to these processes, what happens? Haploid gamete uh, are formed. Initially, there were 2n number of chromosomes. Now, they are going to have n number of chromosomes. That is, the number of chromosomes gets halved. This separates genetically modified chromatids of each homologous chromosomes. So, the genetically modified chromatids, which has because resulted in, uh, because of the process of crossing over, so these are getting separated into new daughter cells. So, in this video, we have talked about the significances of the process of Myasis 2. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.